Well, welcome everyone to our summer worship. And uh, there's so many people that have helped make this happen. Our musicians uh, and singers. And Pam has uh, agreed to come and help lead worship. Do you want to say hi, Pam, to everybody? Hi. <laughs> it's great to be here. And uh, I especially want to thank um, Jeffrey Dale uh, from the Shining Waters region of the United Church of Canada. It's really nice to have this support from the larger church to help us uh, reach out to you in this way. So welcome and God bless. Welcome to the service of worship. We begin by acknowledging the traditional territory upon which we gather this morning. St. James United Church acknowledges that this land and the waters in and surrounding it are the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek who were its stewards for thousands of years before immigration into this area. We seek a new relationship with the original peoples of this land, and we give thanks that all people can share in its stewardship now. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And then I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See? The home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples. And God himself will be there with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. And he said, Write this. For these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Our hymn is a favorite one of many in the congregation. It's number 79 in uh, More Voices, and it's called Spirit Open My Heart. And uh, the traditional tune is called Wild Mountain Time. And so Bert, if you've got a computer, I'm sending this one out to you. And uh, so to this tune, Ruth Duck has put some beautiful words into it. So this is Spirit Open My Heart.
Today we're going to go on a bit of a walking meditation, so you'll get to uh, be over my shoulder and see what I see as we walk. Thich Nhat Hanh is the person who wrote this and I'm adapting it for our setting. So come on, let's go for a walk, let's meditate. So as we're walking, just remember to breathe in and concentrate on your breath and each step becomes a prayer. As we are walking together, praying for peace, let us truly be with each other. Let us pay attention to our breathing. Let us be relaxed in our bodies and our minds. Let us be at peace with our bodies and our minds. Let us return to ourselves and become holy ourselves. Let us maintain a half smile on our face. Let us be aware of the source of being that is common to us all and to all living things. As we walk, we evoke the presence of the great compassion. Let us fill our own hearts with compassion towards ourselves and towards all living beings. Let us pray that all living beings realize that they are all brothers and sisters. All of us nourished by the same source of life. Let us pray that we ourselves cease to be the cause of suffering to each other and to the earth. Let us plead with ourselves to live in a way which will not deprive other beings of air, of water, of food and shelter, or the chance to live life in its fullest. With humility, with awareness of the existence of life, and of the sufferings that are going on around us in this day. We pray for the establishment of peace in our hearts and on the earth. We breathe in and God is with us. We breathe out and God is all around. Amen. It's great! Life is short, and we don't have much time to gladden the hearts of those who walk this way with us. So always be quick to love and make haste to be kind. And go into the world as a blessed people, being a blessing to everyone you meet. Marina, it's cold! Oh, Amen. It's cold! When you first get in, it's freezing! The sun in the eyes. <laughs> it's freezing! Oh, you know, it's pretty cold! <laughs>